Well, Gaston County family is one step closer tonight to closure. More than a year after a teen's overdose death, 16-year-old Abigail Saunderson died in 2022 from fentanyl poisoning. And this week, a second suspect was sentenced for his role in her death. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks tonight spoke with Saunderson's family about what the sentencing means in their fight for justice. People who loved 16-year-old Abigail Saunderson described her as a light, someone who was always happy and wouldn't let anyone be unhappy. Her 2022 fentanyl poisoning death took her family and friends by surprise, but today they're celebrating after learning the people responsible will be in prison. I start going through all of these photos and seeing her, and you know, this is just a portion of summer photos. You can see how happy she always was. Everybody loved Abby. There's some relief for the family of 16 year old Abigail Saunderson after more than a year of fighting for justice. A judge this week sentenced a drug dealer, 24 year old Deontay Miller, for his role in her fentanyl poisoning death. His guilty plea to death by distribution earned him at least three years in prison. We did it. And I know she was guiding me. I know she didn't want her boyfriend to go to jail. That's that's not even we're going to take Nick completely out of the picture. I know she wouldn't have wanted that but it was the evidence that put him there. Um, as far as Deontay goes, I know Abby didn't want to die. 19 year old Nicholas Ivy was Abby's boyfriend. He's getting prison time for giving her the painkiller he got from Miller. Recent adjustments to North Carolina law mean anyone providing certain drugs leading to a drug death can be prosecuted for second degree murder. That's whether they received money or shared the substance freely. You killed my daughter. End of story. It should be a much bigger sentence because four to six years is definitely not enough for the murder of someone for giving them illicit drugs. Now Tracy Saunderson Ross plans to keep her daughter's memory alive with her foundation, Abby's Angels Fighting Fentanyl. It would assist victims' families, educate teenagers about drugs, and make sure schools have the overdose countering drug Narcan for students. If they overdose in school, not even the nurse has it. They have to wait for EMT and fire department to get there to have Narcan to save a student. That's not cool. Gaston County District Attorney Travis Page says he's working with area police and deputies on treating every poisoning as a homicide. They say it'll take a little more work, but they're hoping that the change in law will lead to more filed cases and hopefully more people thinking twice about pushing fentanyl lace products in the area. For now, reporting in Gaston County, Shakir Speaks Queen, City News.